The map of Sir John Mandeville. Zoom in to a place where you have a wall. The Jews of the Ten Lost Tribes are shut up in those hills. They are called Gog and Magog, and they can get out on no side. King Alexander drove them there, for he intended to shut them up with the work of his men. So where is this wall when you put on the continents? When you look for the gates of Alexander, Alexander is supposedly Alexander the Great. He sure doesn't look Macedonian to me. In other versions it is Du al Karnain, building the wall with the help of the Jinn. Who is this enemy they are terrified of? The Jews of the Ten Lost Tribes. So they are locked up with their snake god, the Demiurge, Q, Quetzalcoatl. Where would this wall be? Are we talking the Chinese wall? Locking people up, building a wall? I wonder whose side Trump is on? The ten tribes were locked up behind the wall. Well, there is something strange about this wall. These two tribes were not locked up. And what about Gog and Magog? Are these two Judah and Benjamin or Gog and Magog? Yuri Gagarin, Radio Gaga, Mr. Gaga. Google. And we all know this one. Let's go back to London. One of my viewers said, hey, I thought you found Yahweh in New York, in the St. Nicholas Church. Well, he's right. But let's take a look at the map. So it all starts in London with the first industrial revolution. Then we have New York. And we have the American Digital Revolution. So now we have the third revolution in Wuhan. The 5G revolution. Huawei sounds like Yahweh. And the distance between New York and Wuhan is on my map exactly the same. And it also sounds the same. So it is my guess that several stones are being used to install the grid. Somewhere in Wuhan there has to be a similar pattern. Another tip from a viewer. Take a look at the word Betilus. Betilus are sacred stones that were supposedly endowed with life or gave access to a deity. And when you take a look at a Roman coin, it sure looks like a Ben Ben stone to me. Here we have the meaning of the word. Bet El, House of God. This reminds me of course of Bethlehem. The connection with the Christ. The Beetle. The Beetles. Or Beetlejuice. You have the monarch, the Archon, sitting on the black Bamban stone. And another viewer said, hey, what about Macron, the M Archon, le maudit prince, the Ba and the K, the M Urkel. So I thought, well, what about Marconi, Guglielmo Marconi, another Gugu. And that brings us to radio waves. Remember, organic life is doubling or mirroring. Remember this pattern? 1 and 1 is 2, 2 and 2 is 4. Always doubling itself. That gave us this symbol. The Greek letter Phi or Fa. 
As I was looking at the word radio wave, I came to the conclusion that the V and the W are actually in the word wave. So the word is describing the pattern. And wave is the Roman version of the Greek phi or fa. We also have the parasitic signal, the 369 combination, the ra signal. So if the fa and the wave are actually the same signal, let's examine the word virus. The fa of ra. But because wave and fa are the same, it is the wave of ra. Now let's take the word radio wave. Dios stands for God, the Ra God wave. That means that radio wave and virus are the same word. So the radio wave is a virus. The virus is a radio wave. Thank God we have a mask to protect ourselves. I showed in a previous video that I think that the Greek letters are following the cell division. This language is probably organic. 24 characters, 2 and 2 is 4. All brain waves have a Greek letter. Imagine what would happen if we had 24 of them. And we probably have. The Roman language is probably the parasitic overtake of the Greek. 26 characters, 6 the number of the parasite. Let's take a look now at the electromagnetic spectrum. In electro you hear the word L and Ra. In French, lumière, it's lumen and ra, the light of ra. Take a look at the parasitic waves, they all hold the word ra. Draw the attention to one hand and in the meantime do a trick with the other one. And make as lot of noise as you can. We know where these tricks are coming from. And that made me think of the word phoenix, the V and the X. In Flemish the word nix is nothing. So you have the phi and nix. Phi and nix. You even have the fa nix. It's all about destroying the organic signal, the fa. So researchers discovered young people are developing horn-like spikes on the back of their skulls due to long periods of time spent looking down at their mobile devices. That's right. They're not horns. They're, <laughs> they're bone spurs growing off the back of the skull um, from, from bending our heads forward, from using mobile devices, cell phones um, and tablets. Why, do, why does the body form these spurs just from that kind of posture? Well, from bending our head forward uh, rather than keeping it straight mm -hmm. and, and looking down at texting and at, and at uh, mobile devices, uh, which is a new phenomenon in the last decade or two. Recently, someone said, I have a demonic channel. 
because I'm attacking the Lord Jesus Christ. The only way to be saved is by Jesus. Well, there was another chosen one who was going to save us. I'm still waiting. I recommend take the vaccines. I did it. It's good. Take the vaccine. So let's take a look of what is really behind Jesus Christ. But first, let's start with this. In the parasitical system, the male and the female are counter-rotating. So it is my guess they are half male and half female. Now take the organic system, female and male. Both systems harmoniously make the same pattern. Now let's say I want to make a hand sign for this system. What would it look like? What do you think of this sign? Two fingers for the male and the female. Two fingers for the phallus and the circle for the female womb or the circle of the organic center. When phallus and female come together, they fa. Now let's take a look at some old paintings. Two fingers but open hand. Open hand and fingers crossed. Open hand, fingers crossed and the other hand the free Masonic M. Open hand, fingers crossed and blood wound in the center. Like the dagger in the heart. Some more voodoo. The word Christ, the Roman version, that's a lot of karaba if you ask me. The Greek version, the Christ, the he and the ro, the archon. The resurrection, the phoenix coming back. King Jesus with the crown, the rod and the globe. The Julius Caesar connection. Jesus blessing the center of the Holy Grail, the crater, the body of Christ. Jesus standing under the dome is coming back with an army of angels. And when he comes back, he will wipe out all the unbelievers. Now let's presume that Jesus is an ascended master. Do you really think he would solve all your problems? No, he would teach you and explain you how to solve your own problems. So in my view, Christ is the parasite playing savior. Creating false hope and traumatizing your subconscious. A dead man on a cross. And you people are all sinners. You don't deserve to live. You are useless eaters. Well, if Christ is the parasite, what would be our real God? Take a look again at the movement of Earth. This pattern is the life-giving energy. I called it in a previous video the APEP energy. Take the pattern FA and double it like children gives you FAFA or PAPA, the inversion of APEP. Also brings you to the word Pope. I think that the papacy was an ancient snake cult, but it was taken over by the parasitic Jesus cult. So in the Greek version it would bring you to the word Father. In the wave version it would bring you to water, wind, the forces of nature. So if you are looking for a name for God, take a look at the indigenous people and not at religion. And take a look at history, where Christianity is wiping out all indigenous cultures. Well, you wonder why. 
Let's make an organic wave. Do the hand sign and create the up up pattern. This would be the sign of blessing and not this one. This is the Heil Hitler. H H. H is the eighth letter of the alphabet. Even then they were trying to close you up in an eternal loop. The Metaverse. Uh, you can basically do anything with uh, synthetic uh, RNA, DNA. Um, it's, really, it's like a computer program. You can, do you can turn someone into a freaking butterfly if you want with the right DNA sequence. If you want to bless synthetic life, give it the cross. If you want to bless organic life, give it the wave. But if you give organic life the cross, it becomes a curse. You have the dead Christ. You have the resurrected Christ. You have the dead Jon Snow. You have the resurrected Jon Snow. You have the dead Snow White, you have the resurrected Snow White. So if Snow White is Jesus Christ, well, we have to invert the whole story. Then the witch is the wave, the apple, the organic pattern. Then Snow White disrupted our energy field. Now she's lying under the dome waiting to be resurrected, disrupting the system, the apple. Was Jesus the one, the Neo, hacking the system? But did something go wrong? Is he trapped in the system? And what about the seven dwarfs? The opening of the seven seals marks the second coming of the Christ. I'll be back. I don't think so.